So when I tell people that last year I made a film about creativity, they all ask me, okay, so what's the secret to being more creative? I tell them, well, actually, the secret is you. The more you create, the more creative you'll be. Needless to say, they were all very disappointed by my answer. <laughs> because what they were looking for is, what skills and techniques can I learn? What more can I do? They asked me, isn't creativity this genius that makes beautiful art and music? Isn't it this stroke of inspiration that invented electricity, open heart surgery, Snapchat? Well, yes, all of that requires deep, deep creativity and probably years of training. But today, I want to talk about creativity before it becomes a skill. I'm going to separate being creative and simply the drive, what makes you want to create. So in the process of making this film, I found a really big problem. And I'd like to show you a clip from the beginning of my film. Oh,我覺得我自己沒有創意 他們會覺得生活上有很多東西都改變不了,沒機會,沒空間可以發揮到自己。令我想起一個美國心理學的研究,他們比較中不同國家的人的生命意義感有多大,發現香港原來全世界最低。So what happened? How do we get to everybody thinking that they're not creative? And how do we end up at the bottom of the list in the world in terms of our sense of meaning in life? So I had all these questions that I had to get answers for. And so I found a professor who's been teaching creativity for the last 30 years. And he told me this. He said, when we're born, we're all naturally super creative. But in the process of growing up, we allow the outside world's pressures bury our creativity. And this starts when, perhaps, when our parents start telling us what we should do and we shouldn't do. From when we start to compete and compare with our classmates. From when we start to do things only to achieve that one perfect result. And when we do that, we don't leave ourselves any room for trial and error. And without trial and error, we don't get to experiment to find out who we are and who we are not. And so perhaps that's the reason why people feel so little meaning, because they don't know what makes them different from the people around them, what is their unique value and place in this world. And so the professor said that when that happens, we will lose our drive to create. And so my realization number one is perhaps to find creativity, you have to first find you. But OK, finding you, who am I? Isn't that the question that we all ask? But especially in our culture, because we're born in this collectivist culture where we don't celebrate individuality. When we think of the self, we also think of our family. We think about representing as a whole, which means that being different, taking risks, and not worrying about how other people see us, that's basically going against our entire culture for the past hundreds of generations. And so we have to fight against this culture in order to reclaim our creativity. Because people forget this very simple fact that creativity is the process of you creating something new. Now, if you think about it, everything in this world that is new has been created from something that already exists. So the only ingredient that has never existed before is you. Everything that, all the experiences that you've accumulated from since the moment you were born to right now sitting here, all the problems that you face, all the details that you love, 
all the secrets that you hold. That unique combination is something that no one else in this world can offer but you. OK, so back to my question, how do we find you? I talked to a bunch of people who are right now actively creating very unique things. And these are inventors, entrepreneurs, activists. And through their stories, I discovered a pattern. I discovered a habit that they all share. And that is they all kept the stretch. So what does this mean, stretching? It's going to get a little abstract, so I'm going to ask you all to stay with me. Let's say when we're born, we are a dot. We are shapeless. We are nothing. But at the same time, we can be anything. There are millions of forms that this dot can become. So let's say we grow. And let's say that this circle is the concept of us. It is everything we like, we don't like, everything that we are capable of, or we think we are capable of, or everything that we think we are not. So the basic thing about creativity or creating is taking that edge of the circle and then gently stretching it out, taking what we know inside into what we don't know in the outside, until eventually what we don't know becomes a new part of us. So for example, I know that I'm capable of making a film, but standing up here in front of all 250 of you, maybe that's outside of my circle. But for the past month, I've been stretching and conquering this fear of standing up here. And because here I am standing here, I have extended my shape. And that has become a new part of me. Now, every time you extend yourself, you're making an active choice to stretch into something you don't know. And we make choices every day from what am I going to have for breakfast this morning to should I go abroad or not? Should I fall in love or not? Small choices, big choices. Every time we make the choice to stretch, our shape changes a little bit. And so over time, if we keep on stretching, this direction and that direction, we're going to transform into a unique shape that is only us. And when we know that we are one of a kind and that we are a shape that no one else is, that's a wonderful feeling that we all live for. Now, wonderful things never come easy. So stretching can be difficult. It can be painful. I mean, imagine you're going out um, for a run or to do yoga for the first time. You're going to have to warm up, you know, stretch gently to make sure you maintain your flexibility. Your teacher would not on day one ask you to put your foot over your head. Although sometimes that's what we ask and expect of ourselves. I did. I went to film school and in the four years I was in school, every day I was watching the most amazing films in this world. And when I graduated, I said to myself, I'm going to make those films. But in reality, in the first five, six years, everything I made were kind of terrible. And they were nothing like what I saw in school. And so in those years, I had to keep asking myself, should I be doing this? Other people are so much better. Should I quit? But no, I just had to keep on stretching. Because when you focus on that fear, and when you focus on failure, judgment, how other people see you, like your muscles, you're going to tense up. You know? You're going to not dare to reach out and try something new. Kind of like this. You're going to lose that shape that you've been building all these years. But, oh, and we do know people like that. We all do. People who say no a lot, right? People who would turn away from change or new ideas. And these people, they're not going to be doing what I'm about to say next. So, but thankfully, most of us, we do want to be active and alive and kicking. And so when we stretch our unique shape, 
we're going to reach all these other people who are actively stretching. And when your unique shape meets another unique shape, you're going to see all the gaps in between. And so when all of you come together and your shape can fill in this gap that only you can fill, that's when you hit jackpot. That's going to give you that drive to keep on doing it because you have found your place and your unique value. And when you do that, like the characters that I interviewed in my film, none of them wanted to be more creative when they started out. They just want to keep on stretching to see who they could be. And once they got there, they just kept on finding these different holes and gaps in this world that only they can fill. And that's what we want to do right now. So as you saw, my team and I, we made a film. We want to stretch ourselves to do something that no one's ever done before. We're attempting to start the largest dialogue on creativity across the city. So this dialogue, it started when young people like you told us that they're not creative. And so my team and I, we went back and we made a film so that we can tell them that, yes, you are. And so once they watched the film, they came to us and they said, can we try what you said in the film? Can we try to find ourselves? We went and we designed workshops and experiences so that we can bring it back to them to tell them that, yes, you can. So after they tried all these workshops, they wanted more. And so what we're doing right now is we're going to give this big project to you because we're building a toolkit so that you can take this kit and do these workshops yourself and spread it out to all the people around you so that we can all find ourselves in our unique shape and so we can transform the city into the city we want to live in. A city where people no longer feel defeated or meaningless and not know who they are. A city where we can all stretch and transform into our unique shapes. And whatever we create, beautiful art or music or simply newer, better versions of you, as long as you keep stretching, who knows what you can become. And that is the secret to creativity. Thank you.